New at six, crime is on the rise in San Antonio, especially homicides and property theft. Today, San Antonio's top cop presented to presented the trends to city leaders. Chief William McManus also shared how law enforcement is trying to turn things around. Ken's five reporter Hannah Tita joins us live and Hannah, even with these concerning numbers, the chief says it is still a safe city. Yeah, that's right, ECs. During his presentation to a public safety committee and city council, Chief McManus said San Antonio is a safe city to live for most of its residents. He says people living a high risk lifestyle are more at risk for violent crime. But I want to get to some of those numbers. The report shows that crimes against people, property and society all increased in 2022 compared to 2021. Property crime saw the biggest jump in that's mainly driven by stolen property, which is up a whopping 214%. Now, there's also been a dramatic rise in homicides, increasing 43% from the previous year. Arguments are the biggest contributing factor. But part of that increase is also because of the tragic human smuggling attempt that killed 53 migrants in a sweltering tractor trailer last summer. Another noticeable increase was in sex offenses. That went up 70%. But the Chief says that can be attributed to a reclassification of statutory rape, which was categorized as a sex offense for the first time. Here's what his department is doing differently in 2023. We entered into a contract with UTSA, uh, the criminology department, and we've worked with them to come up with a violent crime reduction plan for 2023. And SAPD is focusing on hotspot policing, which has been successful in San Antonio. That's where patrol officers focus on high crime neighborhoods to reduce illegal and violent activity. But the chief also said there's only so much that police can do. He says the problem is the criminal justice system, and he says until that changes, we're going to keep seeing an increase in crime. Now, I did reach out to the DA's office for a response, and we'll have that for you coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5. Thank you, Hannah.